Hi, this video will demonstrate how to find articles in the library database Business Source Premier. Searching in Business Source Premier is about matching keywords. You are asking the database to match the keywords you have entered with the keywords in the database. Most of the time, you should avoid putting a long list of keywords in one single search box. As the database may try to find all these words in the same sentence, thus severely limiting your results. For example, if you're researching the topic on marketing organic food to consumers, entering all the words in the same search box returns only 20 results and only two of them from 2017. The best way to search is to break up the search statement into distinct concepts and put one concept into each box. When I entered the three concepts into the three different boxes, I got a lot more results. At this point, maybe I want to narrow things down a little bit and focus on consumer attitudes. When you are searching, you need to think like an author. Brainstorm what other words the authors might use in addition to attitude. Maybe behavior, preference, perception. So I'm going to add all of them. Now the search will look for articles that contain marketing, organic food, consumer, and any of the four words in the fourth box because I use or and the rest of them are and. The drop down menu on the right is called a search field. At default, the database will find a keyword match anywhere in the title, author, subject terms, abstract, or maybe the beginning of an article. You can change the search field to broaden or narrow the search. For example, changing the search view to subject terms after the keyword marketing will find results that are about marketing rather than just mentioning the word somewhere in the database record. On the other hand, if you can't find many results with a particular word, broaden the search by changing the search field to all text. So the database will look for your keyword not only in the database record, but also anywhere in the actual full text HTML or PDF article. Observe the results after each search to make sure that it is not overly broad or narrow, then experiment with adding, dropping, or changing keywords, or switching search fields. Here are a few other search techniques. You can use quotation marks to search a phrase to narrow the search. For example, to be or not to be as a phrase. You can use an asterisk to make sure all forms of the keyword will be considered to broaden the search. For example, promote asterisk will find promote, promoting, promoters, promotion, etc. By the way, this is the database record. The keyword matches are in bold. When you find a good article on your topic, observe how the database describes the article. You can click on any of the subject terms to find all the articles on that topic or even just add the subject term as an additional keyword. You can filter the results by using the left navigation bar. For example, check scholarly peer-reviewed journals to find only articles from peer-reviewed journals. This option is really useful, but not necessarily 100% accurate. So when in doubt, use other sources to confirm. You are already seeing the most recent results first. But if you're researching a particular time period, you can also change the time range. After finding a few good articles, you can save them to folders and then email or print them. Click on the folder icon, then go to folder view here or on the top, then confirm and email print or save. You can share the results with yourself or your teammates. When you are in an article, you can print it, email it, save it, and ask the database to generate a citation in a particular style. Double check the formatting, such as italics and capitalization, as the auto citation tool is not always accurate. If you want to save a link to this page, don't just copy and paste the URL in the address bar. The address bar URL is dynamically generated and won't work if you close the browser or use another browser to access. Instead, click permalink under tools and copy and paste that link. This link is stable and won't expire. Many articles in the Business Source Premier database are already available in full text. If the article has no full text, click on Find it at PSU to see if the full text is available elsewhere. 
and if not, you can request it through Interlibrary Loan. Business Source Premier is part of the EBSCO suite of databases, so you can search multiple databases at the same time. For example, if you are interested in something about online learning, you can click on Choose Databases, then check the additional education databases to get results from both business and education publications. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us. Thanks for watching.